Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Logitech G930 headset, which is the best headset that I have ever used. A lot of people that do the hardware reviews on YouTube, I'm very disappointed with it because they just read off a sheet. Maybe they'll unbox it and read the back of the box to you. That's not actually a review. This is me sharing my experience with using this headset with you because you can read everything else on Newegg or Amazon if you want. But before I get into this review, I'm just going to say that this is a 7.1 surround sound headset. So if your computer sound card cannot handle 7.1 surround, then please do not get this. While this is a very good headset, you're spending a lot of money basically Basically, to get something that you can't utilize to its fullest, you can use the stereo on this, but you can easily just buy a stereo headset for a lot cheaper. This for me was $110. Right now on Amazon, it's $100, but that fluctuates. You can check it out there on Newegg.com. But I basically have some pros and some cons about this. The pros of this, it is just amazing headset. First of all, I have this off of one ear just because this blocks out so much sound when you put it on. Like when I type, I can't hear that. They are just great at blocking out sound. I actually thought that this bar was going to be a bit uncomfortable because it's very thin. It's metallic, so I thought it was going to be kind of sharp or rough edges or something, but it's not. And the best thing about the adjustability of this headset is one thing that people don't really think about when they think about headsets is that this has never once ever pulled my hair. I know that this is a big issue for a lot of people that have long hair with headsets because a lot of headsets, every single headset that I've ever had gets tangled up in my hair after like hours of gaming and then you just want to take it off and it just starts like pulling your hair and it's very annoying. As far as the feel of it goes over your head, this top part here has a cushion, a memory foam cushion underneath of it and the ear cushions here are very soft. A bit of a con about the comfort of this headset is that after wearing it for about eight or so hours, my ears will kind of hurt and I'll kind of get a bit of uncomfort underneath my ears right here and probably because I shouldn't be wearing it for that long but it's still very comfortable just take it off every now and then as far as the uh, microphone goes I'm actually recording this video with the microphone but it gets better than that you get voice changers with this headset you can actually change your voice and then change the pitch with it like <laughs> I have a Logitech gaming mouse and this actually works with that same program but this program here it shows you how much battery life left you have it lets you change the voice of it you actually have some macro settings right here which you can change different settings on this is something that I don't really need to use you have a mute button on the side which you can press to mute the microphone or you can slide the microphone up when it's in its upright position, it will become mute, and also you have this volume rocker here, which actually changes the volume of your computer. Like, if I click the little speaker button on the side, and I use this rocker here, I can actually see the volume there get turned up and down. So it's not just turning up and down the volume of the headset itself, but it's turning up and down the volume of the computer itself, which is really interesting. My only complaint about the buttons is that the power button on the back right here, while it is easy to reach, you have to hold it for about five seconds just to get it to power on. I think it should just be a switch or something something easier, but you do get a little beep confirmation so that you know that it's on. And also, when you're powering this headset, it's a bit irritating because you have this little plug right here that you power it with and it's hard to do it without taking your headset off sometimes I can do it sometimes I can't it's just really hard to get it I wish that they would have like funneled it so you can just stick it in there and it'll just hit the edges and like gently slide into the area that it needs to be but another con about the charger is that I thought that this would be a micro USB cable that I could just charge this on any old micro USB but no this is something similar to a phone charger this is something that is made just for this as far as I know I've never had anything else that uses this it's not a micro USB USB. It's something just for this headset. So if this breaks, I don't know what I'm going to do. So you have this dongle here. You can plug into your computer, and then you have the charging cable here, which you can also plug into your computer. It has this dock right here that you can plug it into, and you can conserve your USB spaces. I don't really like this setup at all, because this gets knocked around my desk. It's very ugly to sit there on my desk. I don't really like it, because you have to keep the cable out, and I don't like to wind this back up, just because the little grooves on this, it's very irritating, because you got to pop it into each one of the grooves and then you got to yank it out of each one of the grooves they should have added some sort of rotating device where you just yank it and it just comes back on in on its own as far as the battery life on this goes the battery life here is great and i only have to charge this a few hours and it's good for eight or nine hours or charge it overnight it's good for the full 10 hours and as far as the battery goes everybody knows that the more you use something that's wireless the less time the battery will last so maybe a year from now 
two years from now, three years from now, I'm not really sure, but whenever this battery starts to wear out, you can actually unscrew the headset here, and you can actually take out the battery, and you can replace it. It's got a lithium battery in here, and it's got instructions on how to do that in the booklet itself. So moving on to the most important part of the review is the sound. The sound here is just beautiful. When I wear this headset, it just feels like I'm in a room where there's nothing else around me, and it just feels like I have these massive tubes on my ears where sound is just shot at them from every single different direction. It makes it feel like my ears are in a different dimension, and I'm listening to sounds from different directions. When I play games and I can hear somebody talk, I can hear them from like right here even though the sound is coming from, you know, right here. So the direction of sound with this headset is just beautiful for the surround sound. Probably one of my bigger complaints about this is that when I was installing this, it took a bit longer than it needed to. You know, computers nowadays, you plug something in and it automatically searches for drivers and most of the time you don't really need to do any installs of anything. It just installs on its own. So I plugged this in. It did the automatic install, but it was working kind of funky. So I installed the stuff from the disk and then it was still working kind of weird. I went to the Logitech website and installed everything that I could find from there for this product and then it was having some sort of popping sound in the headset. What I had to do was I had to download new drivers for my sound card and I really just felt that it shouldn't have taken that long. And one last thing I guess that I should mention as far as storability goes, you can store this pretty well because it just folds up really nice and it lays flat on your desk. But Overall, great headset, $100. It's a bit more than I wanted to spend in originally, but I really think that it's worth its money. So let me know what you thought about this in the comments section below. Do you have one? Let me have your feedback about this. And also, eventually I'll get around to doing a review of my Logitech gaming mouse that I have. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.